Hello and welcome everybody. I thought I'd just do a quick video today um, to show you how you can get the new Pi Amiga version 2 that's just been released working on a Windows PC using WinUAE. So I use my Windows PC all the time for playing Amiga emulation. Uh, I haven't got a Raspberry Pi. I'd, I've got an older one but not the new one so I wouldn't be able to to use it but I thought it looked really good so I wanted to give it a try. So I'll just go through like a really quick tutorial on how to set it up in Windows. So the first thing you need to do is obviously download the Pi, uh, Pi 2 Amiga software. You can find that on, if you search on Google, there's plenty of downloads out there. Once you've downloaded the zip file, make sure that you unzip it to the image file. So it's just an IMG file. Then you need to go to a website called diskinternals.com and download the free version of the Linux reader. This will allow you to actually open that image or any Raspberry Pi image and you can then um, utilize the files that are inside this. So that's good if you want to download any of the other Raspberry Pi emulation images and get any of the ROMs or any of the games from them. You can use this software for doing that also. So once you've done that, you open up the program disk internals Let's get it to load up now it will bring up this this um, folder so what we need to do now is actually link the image file we've downloaded to this software so if you click on drives and mount image it's a raw disk image you want to do and you want to find where you've got your Pi Amiga so that's why right there click OK and then you give it a few seconds and it's if you notice it's come up with a few more files that we can now read. So what we need to do is copy a few files from the root FS directory onto the onto a hard drive on your PC. So if we go into that, we then go to home, the home folder. Click on Pi, and then to Pi Amiga, and. We want to go into the disks folder. So if we go into the disks folder, you can see there's these six folders. So you've got AG system, audio demos, game system, and work. So what we need to do with those is highlight them all. Click on save. We want to save the files to a hard drive or hard drive, whichever one you want to choose. Now it's going to enumerate them to see how big they are and how long it will take. So this takes a few minutes, so we'll just leave that running a second. It's just calculating how big the file size it's going to be. One thing I would say as well is when you do actually extract these from this image to your hard drive, it does take uh, quite some time. About it took me at my computer about an hour due to the size of the files. It's so over 20 gigabytes so it does take a bit of time to actually extract the files hopefully it will have finished enumerating in a few seconds So there we go so now it's come up with where you want to save them so you select where you want to save them you make sure that the save directory structure is ticked and then you click on next so you can see the total recoverable file size is 28 gigs so you click on next and then all the files you want to save are ticked and you would click on next again I'm not going to click on next because I've already done this so I don't want it to go into the time it takes to save it so once that's done once that's saved it'll come up with a message saying this has been saved just click on ok now if we just go back to the home to the main folder page again in fact we'll, we'll come out of this and we'll do it i go back into the root you want to go into home again pi amiga again the and now we need to get the config file for win uae so we go into the Amiberry folder, conf, and we want to copy these files at the bottom here. Now these are all different versions you can download, you can use of the um, the 
Pi Amiga. So I want to copy those and again do exactly like we did before. Click on save, save files, where we want to save them to. I use the same folders uh, where I save the other f the files. Click on next and click on save uh, next again and it will then save those files to there. Again, I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. So once those files have been saved, there's nothing else really in here that we need. The one thing I would say is, if you want to use the AGS um, AGS um, config file, you will need to download also. If you go to home, again, Pi, Pi Amiga. And where we would where we clicked in disks, if you want to use the, um, I think it's uh, Mega ASF or something like that, you need to also un extract these two files exactly like we did before. Click on save and and save them. So we can close that down. So we now need to open WinUAE and get it all set up how we want to set it up. So. Open your WinUAE file. Now I'm not going to go into how you set WinUAE up. There's plenty of videos on YouTube how you can do that. You will need the Kickstart ROMs, etc. all set up. Now obviously you can get those from various sources. Just search on Google. So you need to go into your configurations. And where your configurations are stored for any of your files, you need to load in the ones that you're wanting to add. So... If I click on load from, what I did was, I copied those files that I downloaded, the config files, the Pi Amiga, Pi Amiga SS and the Mega AS, and placed them in my configurations folder. So when I then come up on this screen with all my configurations on, I can click on the Pi Amiga one and load it in. So this has now loaded the Pi Amiga one in. The one thing you then need to do, because this is obviously set up for... This is the config file set up for the Pi Amiga. Hopefully wherever you've got all your ROMs are all set up. So if you go to CD and hard drives, on here, all these different devices will say a different location where they need to be. So what we need to do is link them to where we've just downloaded the files. So to do that, you would click on the one you're looking at, so that one, click on properties, and then on the path, you would select the directory where it is, go to the go to where you've saved them so there's your folders you've saved then click on the the folder that you've saved so it's saved system so click on system click on select folder click on ok it then links that device to where you've saved it on your hard drive so obviously i've done these previously so these are all set up ready to go so i've, I've linked them to those folders on the hard drive once you've done that you're about ready to go one thing that i did was just change the configuration for the display as well so if you go to the display one you can i always change it to native so it matches my resolution and i have full window but you can change it to whichever one suits you but make sure both rtg and native are set to the same also make sure in the game ports you've got your xbox controller or whichever controller you're using set up and then once you've done that, make sure you remember, once you've ch changed all your things, remember to click on the save button to save the profile with the new locations. So you can now click on Pi Amiga and it should load it up. There you go. Work, man. You've now got Pi Amiga working on Windows PC or Windows. Now, there's some really good things. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the all the different things that are available on Pi Amiga 2. Uh, you probably already know if you've used it before, but the one I like is the Term emulator because that obviously allows you to connect to the BBS boards. So if you press the right mouse button, you've got the phone book at the top. So there's some boards that are already set up for you to look at, so you can connect with them, like the olden days, where it dials up and connects to them. Which is absolutely brilliant. So nostalgic. So, Amiga graphics.
and then you can get into whichever BBS board you want to go into. We'll come out of that. You've got the internet, so you can surf the internet if you want to through the Amiga. Just load it now. So you've got NetSurf. So you, across there, you've got lots of different sites you can go to the Mod Archive, Aminet. So if you click on that, it takes you straight to their website and you can download files directly onto the hard drive of the emulated PC, which is really good. Got another one there, you've got um, an image mount where you can mount, mount ISOs. Obviously, directory opus, we all know what that is. The uh, disk operating, where you can move things about, operating system. You've got Snoop Dash, you've got UAE controls, which is really good, where you can turn uh, change the CPU speed, insert ADF. So if you want to run a uh, an ADF file from insert from inside the emulator, you can do. So if you're having to come out all the time. You've got the Eagle Player, which is um, basically an MP3 type player. Or a mod player, sorry. Got some mods there, so you can download those. button my eyes aren't as good as they used to be you've got Amiga amp you've got a video player for playing different videos so if you want to play video on it some of the demos and come out that and obviously the two biggies here is iGame which is stacked with loads and loads of games 4841 so probably every, every game you ever probably need to play <laughs> so obviously uh, you, you've seen this before you basically look for the game you want so, let's go for that one double click on it and it basically loads up the game Classic music, classic, classic music. And to come out, it's F10 as it was. But also, what you've got here as well, you've got iDemo, which has got, it's exactly the same as iGame, but has got all the demos on there that you can click on. So, I'll we'll just click on that one there. So we've got that, which is really good. Um, there's been a few people say the sound's a bit laggy and stuff, but you can mess with that in the options in your in your Win UAE under sound by changing the buffer size. You've also got say, so obviously the classic say. Hello, welcome to Retro Rewind. Classic. <laughs> So there are the icons across the bottom and clear RAM at the bottom. Then you've also got some ones up here. So you've got system where you've got lots of different things you can do. You've got some emulators in there. So you've got like Frodo, Vice, um, lots of different emulators. If you want to run an emulator within an emulator. <laughs> um, you've got programs. There is so many things in here that you can look at. It's crazy. Um, audio. So you've got lots of other demos or MIDI files if you want to play them. So. Different, um, there's MP3s, AMX files, MED modules, tons of modules you can listen to if you want to listen to those. So 
Desert Dream is on there. Desert Dreams, yeah. Oh, no, that doesn't play right. So, yeah, I think you, basically you load these through the mod player, mm. which is if you go to the press the right mouse button, you've got lots of options along the top as well. So, you've got Pro Tracker, Octomed, all those different things. Graphics, you've got DP5 or 4, sorry. Um, Image Studio, True Brilliance, Image Effects, Personal Paint, got viewers. You've got all sorts of stuff. It's just like a, a, a treasure trove of everything in one place for emulation for the Amiga. Underwork, you've got some books. Again, some graphics. So you've got stock photos, wallpapers, etc. videos. Now, you've got a, a whole compendium of demos. If you don't want to use the one down here, you've got one here that you can use. So you can go into the folders and you've actually got the demos in there you can run. Now, there is another one on here called Games, but unfortunately this part doesn't work, or I can't get it to work, because I think this is where it uses actual connections to the structure of the actual Pi Amiga. So these you would have to install separately into this system if you wanted to use these on on the on WinDuay on the PC. So these what that's the only downside to it. So it works for 99% of everything else, it's just that bit that doesn't work. But yeah, so that's a quick guide to Pi Amiga 2 running on Windows 11 on the PC. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like if you've enjoyed. I stream most weekends, a lot of retro gaming. So um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon.